My name is Miss Lodina Beide and I'm the CEO of Perez Kitchen. Uh, we cook for companies, uh, conferences, uh, programs, weddings and everything. We cater for it. And we've been in the system for the fi past five years. As I was growing up, I felt like doing something practical, but my family never wanted me to do anything practical because they wanted to have doctors, engineers, and other things in the family. So as when I finished JSS and I was going to secondary school, I really wanted to do home economics, but they said, no, you have to read science. So I had to follow the trend and read science. And when I, I got to, after secondary school, when I got to the university, I, I had biochem, admission to do biochem in Legon. But after the first year, I thought I, I, I didn't have the edge for it. So I changed to do arts. Then when I finished Legon, and I, I traveled outside the country when I came back home to Ghana, I wanted to set up a company for myself. So I decided to cook. For many people who travel outside the country, they think it, they are greener pastures and it's unheard of that someone would, would decide to relocate back to Ghana and, and work. How did it happen for you? Okay, in London, I really suffered. It's not easy out there. There is no greener pastures anywhere. You can make it back home here. That's all that I can say because running around in London, chasing one bus after the other, going to work, it was too tedious for me. I couldn't stand it. So my auntie, Mrs. Hadden Mensa, she, she used to come to London often to visit me and she said, why don't you come back home? And I said, okay, I'll come. I'll come. Every, anytime she t talks to me about coming back home, I tell her I'll come. So one day, she just bought me a ticket that, oh, I may just take this ticket and come back home. Then I just came down because I felt there's nothing there for me. Uh, these days, there have been a lot of businesses around, like this catering industry and supply, uh, how do you call it, procurement industry. Because of this oil companies, that has, a lot of companies are springing up. A lot of companies. Like, because of this oil, and com com uh, oil industry, a lot of companies like they are doing the port expansion they are doing gas projects here and there so when these projects came into it this oil industry came to existence it's helping some of us to get businesses within them so many of the people that i've spoken with in takwa they say well we wanted a job in the oil industry but we do not have a job and so we think that the Western region hasn't really benefited from the oil industry. What do you think about it? A lot of people are going around saying that. But one thing I always tell my, I always tell people is, have you positioned yourself for that work you are looking for? They haven't positioned themselves. There are a lot of caterers. I haven't been to a catering school before, but I'm cooking. How have I positioned myself? I've registered a company done all the necessary things I have to do, bought all the equipment I need to do, I have positioned myself for. So if you go for a company, they will ask their health and safety men to come and check where you are cooking. How many people have done that? Just a few. Just the restaurants and things we in existence, they are still doing the business. Yes, these companies, some of them went welders. They go and bring welders from Accra. Have the, those in Takwadi, have they really positioned themselves, even if they have learned welding in Kokompe, have they tried to get a certificate with it? Because you can't just walk into a company and say that I've done welding in Kokompe, so employ me. No, we need some sort of certificate. Takwadi, a lot of companies are springing up here, but all the workers are coming from Accra. Why? Because we here, we haven't positioned ourselves. Just a few of us around are getting the jobs to do. As they always say, the best comes from the West or 
anyway because i can see that a lot of projects the government is bringing in a lot of projects here in the western region as a whole and takradi being the regional capital there are going to be a lot and i am not positioning myself only in takradi i'm prepared to move as far as atuabo if i get a contract there anyway i just set up a kitchen put stuff there and just apply the managerial skills that's all so in the near future my businesses we are looking forward to catering for about a thousand people a day and over